Coach on the road with the man Omar Vinscale. How are we doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. Well, you and an Eclipse the record book, future Hall of Famer. What do you contribute to your success with the White Sox this year? Well, uh, ever since spring training, uh, you know, I really uh, got focused. Uh, you know, I started swinging the bat well since uh, uh, Walker started talking to me, the hitting instructor. Uh, we changed a little things in the swing. Uh, started to uh, be consistent on my on my swing, and uh, you know, took that approach to spring training, and then uh, spring, uh, spring training took over into the season where I wasn't playing that much but uh, once I start playing a little bit more often uh, the swings start coming along mm -hmm. I'm pretty uh, feeling happy that uh, you know I've been pretty consistent that's the most uh, important thing for me uh, sometimes you get to change your swing a lot but uh, you know I, I've been uh, very focused on the things that I have to do at the plate and things are working well you know you've been constantly moving up the ladder on all time list to get some very prestigious names so, I mean, how does that make you feel to know that you're constantly edging your way up higher and higher toward the top? Well, it, it makes me feel surprising because I never thought that I was going to be, uh, you know, talking uh, records uh, right next to Luke Appling, guys like Tony Perez, and guys that, uh, you know, have passed on the, on the hit list. So, it's really surprising to me that uh, I'm still uh, uh, producing, uh, still playing the game. I never thought that I was going to play this long, and, uh, you know, I, I think... Uh, I'm privileged, I'm very, very uh, privileged that I get to be uh, in the big leagues, but uh, I've been working out a lot uh, in my career, uh, uh, stayed really flexible, uh, took my, my routine very seriously, and uh, I think that's when I'm still here. You know, you guys got off to a slow start, and there was a lot of critics wondering if y'all had folded 10 or quit. And now you hit a surge just before all star break and you're leading the division. I mean, how gratifying is that that you guys are living up to the billing that you were predicted to win your division? Well, uh, you know, coming into spring training, uh, you take a look at the team that we have in the paper and uh, you have a pretty good idea where we're going to fit on the division. Uh, I never thought that we weren't going to be uh, uh, fighting for a fourth or third place uh, in this division. Uh, but uh, the things weren't going well in the beginning. I know it was just a matter of time for everything to start clicking and, and falling into place. Uh, we got into a good uh, stretch, and uh, now we find ourselves in the first place. Uh, I think that's one of the goals that everybody accomplished here ever since we stepped into this field. And now uh, we just want to maintain the same uh, enthusiasm and the way of playing uh, until the end of the season. Let me ask just one last question. I know you're a future Hall of Famer, and nothing better to do than on top should this team win a real series this year would you retire uh, it's a tough question because uh, you know I am having a, a pretty good uh, year so far I'm feeling pretty good about myself uh, my body's feeling great I don't have any soreness or you know I still uh, playing free of injury so uh, you know uh, I think uh, my body's telling me that I could continue on this game uh, maybe I can give it another shot so you're telling me back to back to back real series for the white side <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> the coach with the man Omar Vizquel. All right, appreciate it.